Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing great. In today's video, yes, we've got some brand new information about the new gimmick in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Terastalizing off the back of the reviewer sessions that a bunch of content creators and reviewers got to go to have a hands-on experience with the new games for like an hour. We got a bunch more information from those sessions and we've got a lot more confirmation about how terastalizing works and how it'll be impactful within the new format. So we're going to cover everything in today today's video don't worry about missing anything we'll talk about all of these changes how the new gimmicks going to work and what the impact and implications will look like for a lot of pokemon going into these new games because it is a lot different than what we originally thought it was going to be so the first thing to talk about today is going to be Terra Blast. Now Terra Blast is that unique move that Pokemon are going to be able to utilize and take advantage of with terrestrializing in the new games. We know it's a very dynamic move, so if your Pokemon has a higher special attack, the move will be special based. If your Pokemon has a higher physical attack then it's going to be a physical type attack so like i say very dynamic move we didn't really know the base power of terra blast now that was a big question hanging over this move what will the, the base power be now it's been confirmed off the back of these review sessions content creator has confirmed that it is going to be 80 base power so it gives us a bit more scope going forward well with how impactful this move will be going into these new games 80 base power we guessed here on the channel from our previous videos between 60 and 80 now it is on the the higher end of that and it makes a lot of sense i don't think it's too powerful i think it probably sits nicely in the middle of where it probably should be not to be overpowered and not to be too low as well so 80 base power is what we've got going forward now the next big confirmation that we did get was in regards to how terrestrializing actually works now we were under the impression that if you've got say a pokemon like hydreigon and it's going to terrestrialize into a poison type that's its terror typing it would lose its dragon and its dark typing and turn into a pure poison type now that is the case but at the same time, when you go into that new Terra type, you gain a new same type attack bonus for that Terra type that you're turning into. So you would turn from the Dark and Dragon type into the Poison type and gain just the Poison Stab. So you'd have a same type attack bonus for Terra Blast or Poison type attacks on Hydreigon once you transformed. And while doing that, you would lose the stabs from your Dark and your Dragon type attacks, which is you know made a lot of sense there are going to be drawbacks with terrestrializing but that is not the case it's been confirmed since then that when you do terrestrialize into a new type then you actually keep the previous same type attack bonuses that you had from your base form so hydreigon going into a poison terra type would still have this stab bonus from dark type attacks and dragon type attacks as well essentially giving it three stab attacks now it's say for the same situation that hydreigon goes into into a pure dark type it's gonna get a bonus a two times stab bonus on all dark type attacks so it would still only have two stab moves it would still keep the dragon but it would get a double boost on the dark type attacks which is pretty huge but the fact that pokemon can now go into a new type and if they are dual typing as their base form and essentially get a third stab boost is just huge just huge and really changes how we kind of perceived this whole mechanic to uh, to work in the format now this was kind of confirmed by a bunch of sources that did go out and have hands-on experiences with these games obviously you've got game and bible here did a big article on it but you can see here that pldh confirms here confirmed terra buffs same type terrestrialization bump stab from 1.5 to 2 times if you change type you still keep the original stabs and they'll be at 1.5 which is just insane so we've kind of briefly talked about that just there then the, the article from gaming bible goes into a bit more detail then we've got a tweet from central leaks as well uh, to further explain how terrestrializing will then work we originally thought that the original stab was lost when changing to a different terror type but that's not the case all stabs are preserved so we've got this uh macchio dot IT site which is Terrastal Calculator. Um, I don't want to ignore forever because I will buy them a coffee. I will come back to that. There's this great tool here on Macchio.it. So you plug in your Pokemon here like Hydreigon let's say and are going to have that poison or steel terror type here and then you simulate it and it will show you exactly what hydreigon stabs will be when it is 
terastalized into that poison type. So it will gain the poison typing and then it will gain a, a poison stab, but it will keep the dark and the dragon stab that it originally had, although it will just have all the benefits of a poison type. So it will have levitate. Um, it will only have one weakness to psychic types, which is pretty good. So, and you're gonna be able to have all three stabs to take advantage of. So if any psychic types hit the field, you're still gonna have that really strong dark type attacking move. And it's just, it changes the whole dynamic of how terrestrializing will work. Like literally, I didn't expect them to keep the original same type attack bonuses for their base forms after they terrestrialize, but this seems to be how it goes. So it really does create a lot more flexibility and I think really enhances the ability of some of these Pokemon to be that bit more impactful within the format and in these new games than we initially thought them to be. You take something like Scissor here, um, and uh, this is something that I would like to do, you know, go into a fire type with Scissor, and then you will simulate it, and it will have a physical type fire type attack. It will be a fire type itself, and it's still gonna have that steel, and it's still gonna have that bug type stab that it originally had when it goes into that fire terrestrialize. And the same can be done for if you go into a water type Scissor, you know, as well, so to resist those big fire type attacks that you would normally see coming out to hit scissor you're going to have that water type stab it will be physical and then you're going to be able to utilize something like terra blast to take advantage of that once you've terrestrialized and you're going to keep those original stabs but then say if you want to go into a pure steel type with scissor what you're going to get is you're going to go into a pure steel type so you've got to bear in mind that your weaknesses will all be based on what your terra type is so you're still going to be weak to fire and things like that although you keep your same stabs from your original base form, you'll gain all the weaknesses and benefits from that new terrestrialized typing. But when you terrestrialize into a typing that is part of one of your base types, so here we've got scissor going into a pure steel type, your stab for steel goes from 1.5 to two times stab, but you still keep that bugs type stab so there is no drawback here you're just reducing your weaknesses uh, to fire in this case for scissor but you're gaining a huge buff to something like your steel type attack something like bullet punch which you've got to remember on scissor in particular already gets a technician boost as well so further boosting that and then chucking on something like a life orb will make scissor an absolute monster and then you can combine that with you know something like sword stance that we see commonly playing on scissor in competitive formats it's going to really open up the door to be able to utilize these pokemon even further than what we thought we'd be able to initially the fact is that we know the base power as well of terror blast we can have a look at how impactful it will be against some of the the more threatening pokemon that they would normally come up against in the format you know you've got high dragon here one of its biggest nemesis that you would say is probably something like a sylvian it finds it very difficult to hit sylvian with or something like a zoom roll but if you turn into a pure poison type your terra type is a poison type and then you can hit it for really good damage here uh with something like sludge bomb it, it be 80 base power here it's going to be hitting for 50% damage and then you stack something like a life orb on top of it and you're going to be hitting even more and then you change your nature maybe to something like modest to maximize everything and you're getting even closer to picking up a knockout you could even go full tilt and chuck on a choice specs item here and you're looking at this is a 252 hp sylvian you know this is no slouch this is a good defensive pokemon and you're going to be nearly picking up a one hit ko obviously we're doing this on level 100 vg is normally level 50 um but either way you're going to be getting um very close to being able to pick up a knockout with something like that you stack on maybe a helping hand boost with that you could go back down to the life orb and you're always guaranteeing a knockout against just a 252 kind of standard sylvian that you would go up against and with that poison typing as well it means that you're not really going to be taking much damage from sylvian's attacks and things like that so you know you can see how good this new terror attack will be and you know the the other thing to note as well is if sylvian leaves the field you get rid of sylvian and then you see a psychic type hit the field so let's say we've got something like giraffe rig we one of the confirmed psychic types you know will be coming into the game uh giraffe rig will be able to do a lot of damage with its psychic type attacks because hydragon is now a poison type but you're still gonna have the the dark pulse you're still gonna have the stab from the dark pulse that you originally had so you're still gonna be able to hit it for absolutely 
ridiculous damage. Let's get rid of the life orb. Let's get rid of the help and hand boost. And you're still going to be able to pick up the knockout on something like Giraffe Rig here. Um, I wouldn't have thought with an Eviolite and maybe it's uh, it's it's next it's evolution might have different stat spreads as well you know probably stronger stats but you get the picture you're still going to have access to this stab attack doing big damage to it as well as this new terror type and some other options like your draco meteor that you're going to be able to drop as well which is pretty huge making something that we thought was a good mechanic new gimmick into an absolutely incredible new gimmick so these are the changes these are the confirmation that we've had about terrestrializing it's now going to be so much more different than what we originally thought it to be terra blast going to be base 80 power which is pretty big it's a good move it's going to be really beneficial for in particular normal types because they're going to be able to utilize it before terrestrializing and then you think when a normal type if it terrestrializes into a normal type it's going to get a double star boost on an 80 base power attack which is pretty big and normal types don't have the biggest kind of pool of kind of normal type attack options anyway you've got tri attack you've got body slam uh, return and frustration have gone so you don't have those as options anymore you're gonna have double edge but they have drawbacks with recoil so you've got this really solid kind of terror blast attack that normal types can utilize and um, obviously when you utilize it on any Pokemon that terrestrializes is gonna change into that type in as well which we already knew about but knowing the base power of it does give us a lot more insight to how impactful it will be in the format and what we're gonna be able to do with it going forward so I'd love to hear your opinions on this this new mechanic it is very different from what we kind of initially thought it to be keeping all the stabs when you do terrestrialize is huge obviously getting that double terrestrialized stab boost as well if you go into a new terror type that was one of your base types is big as well there's not really any drawbacks with that just the power increase with that it's going to be a very good mechanic i fully get behind it i think it's going to be one of the best mechanics the gimmicks that we've had in any of the pokemon series i think terrestrializing will be the one and it should be balanced i think it will be very balanced it's going to be very impactful but there are a lot of ways to play it. We've covered a bunch of those on the channel already. So if you want to check out any of those videos, uh, check out, I'll link them over here and uh, you can go and watch those, get a bit more information on how we can potentially change the format, how it will work. But in today's video, we've covered all the updated information. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below on how you think this is going to be impactful, any ideas that you've got on these Pokemon as well. And I'll look forward to catching up with you in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.